So I just finished designing and building an equatorial wedge for my AZ GTI um, mount, but I'm sure it could be used for others. It seemed like the ones that were available were more expensive than I, what I would want for what I get, and they seemed a little bit not as robust as I would like. So, and this has a few improvements, I think. It uses springs uh, to provide pushback for a single knob, so you don't have to pull with two knobs at once. It also puts both the, um, the azimuth control and the altitude all next to each other um, for convenience. I'll show you how it works. Um, just like the ones that you buy, this pushes against this piece. Um, we'll change the altitude. But you don't have to mess with another bolt back here because that spring provides really strong tension. And it's really pretty stiff, so I'm not really worried about it flopping around. Though if that is a concern, I'm going to put a, a big knob on here to really clamp it down. And likewise for the azimuth, uh, this pushes against that. Uh, with this spring providing tension. And it gives probably mm, 25 degrees um, in azimuth and probably the same in altitude. I just sent mine as a default to my latitude, uh, which is like 43 degrees. So straight up should be about right. So I'll hook it up and we'll see how it it looks. So this is actually my first time hooking this up um, to my telescope. I got an Orion 80 millimeter on here, and let's see how it works. So the um, movement is much more apparent with that long telescope on there. And you'll notice it's a little jerkier than I would like. Seems less robust than when I just had it. <laughs> on the table um, and I underestimated the force of this lever arm which all gets transferred to this one piece and these two little joints which of course broke the glue joint broke there so I'll need to put a big long screw through here and through here next time if I were to build this again I'd probably fill in this gap with wood to have a much stronger joint here and I definitely am going to need that knob on here that once I have the altitude how I want it, I'll tie, uh, crank it down tight so the weight um, is shifted away from this piece and more to these arms. The azimuth seems to work great because it has a lot less um, tension on it. I'm happy with that. Um, I think what also would help is I, I for some reason I polished these washers in here to make it really smooth and silky, but I probably actually want some friction on there, so I might put some grubby ones in there and maybe extra ones to make it tighter. And you can see it kind of bounce when I move it, which of course I guess isn't that big of a deal. You're only doing this for polar alignment, and then you would lock it down and hopefully it's sturdier after that. If you guys have any um, ideas for improvements or tweaks on this thing, um, I'd love to hear them. Just let me know. Put it in the comments.